when everything's going right, everybody's like high five and woo hoo, we're on it. We're at the top of the charts. You see us at the top of the charts? Things are wrong. Kids are crying because they got the filet of fish instead of the hamburger. That happened to me once. We can talk about that. That's a childhood trauma. When I'm here with you guys, I want you guys to feel good. David, do you know what kind of can of worms you are opening up right now? Those parents in the room? Those parents in the room? Your kids want to be heard, don't they? Daddy, 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 daddy. Yes? <laughs> Nothing. Where's the manager? I am the manager, right? And then you're telling them, you're telling them, you're telling them, you're telling them everything that happened. And they go, account number. Right? When a customer has a problem, they want to feel like you care. And sometimes you got to be a good actor. Oh, yes. Can I get an amen on a Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, you got to be a good actor. You got to sell it. Right? But your customers only want three things from you. Now, you might be saying, David, three things from you. What, 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 what? But if they feel heard, they feel understood, they feel cared for. 80% of those problems go away. If we can think about that and have a system in place to make sure that we're thinking about that on a constant basis, all the other metrics, everything else falls in to line. But it starts with one thing, it starts with your customers.